Hey YouTube, um, so Chad here. Um, one of the things you may not know about me is uh, I do this little thing called uh, bound acting and uh, uh, what it is is uh, you know it as extra work where uh, we go in the background of uh, scenes being filmed uh, for movies and TV and yes I do get paid for it uh, sometimes very well um, and I get fed very well. Um, I uh, got into it by mistake, uh, I'll talk about that in some other video, but uh, um, even though I uh, worked in uh, audiovisual uh, behind the scenes uh, doing stage, sound, lighting, uh, stuff in movies, film, uh, stuff like that, uh, before I never thought I'd be in front of the camera and go figure, I love it. And so anyways, the one I'm going to talk about today is uh, Hell on Wheels. Um, it's a uh, it's a western based on the building of the Transcontinental Railroad, and uh, it's a TV series uh, produced by AMC. And the episode that uh, I'm talking about today is uh, Season 4, Episode 2, or as I call it, uh, Episode 402. One of the things I... I did is I've watched this episode over and over and over again naturally because I'm in it and it was a lot of fun and it brings back good memories to watch myself so and watch a scene because I got to, to come together and uh, one of the things watching it over and over and over again is <laughs> I didn't actually notice myself in one of the scenes until very recently uh, 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 this is the scene. Uh, there's Anson Mount in the foreground and uh, a couple of women and myself in a black hat and a uh, black jacket actually right behind the, the horse's ass go figure. <laughs> of course I wouldn't notice myself behind a horse's ass. Uh. Anyways, um, uh, it was a great episode and uh, I also didn't notice myself in another spot uh, because I was too engrossed in the episode plus this part uh, went by super fast. Uh, me uh, squinting really badly right behind James Shanklin, who's also squinting as you can see. Uh, James Shanklin was just a joy to work with. He really knows his stuff. Um, but uh, um, we did a lot of takes uh, throughout the, uh, a whole episode. Took a whole day in April in 2014 just to get uh, um, the one scene in the Mormon camp uh, done and I was playing a Mormon uh, and uh, had to uh, redo a lot of stuff over and over and over again. Uh, now in this scene uh, here um, uh, there's Anson Mount uh, in the foreground again and you see a lot of guys in black and sometimes that's the thing is you won't see yourself necessarily uh, right away or other people wouldn't even recognize you because you're just a tiny little blip and you go by so fast but uh, where the hand is uh, it almost looks like it could be holding my legs that's uh, me there and the reason I know that is because I was there I know what I did and I know where I was who I was standing next to so so you kind of get used to looking for yourself, or sometimes you even forget to look for yourself, which I've done several times. Um, uh, there's me um, walking towards Christopher, Christopher Hydrell on the uh, far left. Uh, so he's facing away from the camera, and then I'm the first one over from him uh, coming towards the camera. And that was actually a fun scene to film and I won't spoil too much of what was going on in this scene but we really enjoyed it and and he was also a phenomenal actor. Um, that day I also uh, uh, got to work with Mackenzie Porter. She's uh, Kaylin Porter's sister from Medicine Hat, Alberta. Um, actually uh, some of my family are friends with their family which is pretty cool. And then uh, of course Anson Mount James Shanklin, 
uh, uh, James Shanklin is actually in the very front in this picture and I'm the one uh, to the left of him with my hand on my knee there looking down and uh, we were actually praying and we had to do this take over and over and over and over again and it got hard on the knees because that was actually solid dirt and uh, we had to stay on our knees for several minutes at a time and and I'm certain I had rocks under my knees so it's not always comfortable or fun and plus I had a fire that you can't actually see that was almost right behind me so I was quite hot with the uh, uh, heavy period clothing um, fire behind me and the sun heating uh, me up it, plus the uh, key lights and everything else it, I was really toasty warm but that's some of the uh, the sacrifices um, uh, but you get treated really well and here in Calgary they're great about uh, treating their background actors really well fees were paid excellent um, and a lot of the people in the industry know me quite well so I get used over and over and over again and I actually get great shots where you can very very clearly see me I'm on the left here James Shanklin uh, in the middle and uh, I was clean shaven for that funny thing is I got to set that day I was uh, quite scruffy like I am now and uh, very scruffy and my hair is long but I got to set that day and they uh, said okay go shave uh, you're a Mormon and I didn't know that I'd be a Mormon until I got there so I had to shave and get all nice and clean shaven for this scene and then um, and then uh, this year I'm actually going back but I'm doing something different I'm playing a different role in in season five of uh, Hell on Wheels, and I'm not going to say what that is yet. Um, but I actually get to be nice and scruffy for for this one. My wife doesn't like it, but uh, I'm quite enjoying it. I'm digging the style, the hair, the the scruff, and I went for my uh, costume fitting uh, yesterday, actually, and or it would have been uh, uh, Wednesday today's what Friday I suppose by now um, so yeah I had a lot of fun with that and and um, I'll tell you more uh, I'll do more videos about uh, background acting uh, as I can and I hope to see you soon enjoy YouTube cheers